It's Friday, baby, and it's time for episode 17. This week on Popcorn Vendors, we talk about books because you already know I'm a bookworm, baby. And what life would be like without television? Ah! Also, we laid in popcorn, so that was pretty neat. Oh, yeah, but well, we're not, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about it, but it happened. It happened, so yeah. There so you go. Do this it the way you will. Oh, well, all right. This week. On Popcorn Vendors, it's going to be a good one. Welcome, everybody, to Popcorn Vendors, a podcast about life and entertainment. I'm Tim. I'm Colby. And Colby is about oh, to fall Oh, I asleep. did. I cleaned the kitchen. Me and Dad. Yeah. Oh. All right. That's weird. I know. So, Colby, you're doing a new play, Guys and Dolls. I am. And you got the lead. I, I did. Come see it, everyone. It's going to be great. Oh. We have to buy our own costumes. Wait, oh. If that didn't give you an idea on what the show is going to be like, then. Hey, I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. Is this your first lead? No. Oh, that's right, Robin Hood. You were Robin Hood. Whoops. Okay, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> You've had so many lead roles. <laughs> is this your first lead, Colby? <laughs> I always no. I I always see you as like the supporting roles. Like every time I come in, you're the supporting character. I know, or featured. You're a good feature actor. Oh, wow, thanks. The, oh great! Now I now no, I just insulted you, thing. Colby. Sorry. Okay, well well let's just dive right on in. Dive right in. We've been talking for like ten minutes. No, we haven't. No. Anyways, keep going. Books. Yeah. Uh, okay, Colby. I have a question for you. You ever walk into a Barnes and Noble and you stumble around across this book? It's huge. It's like at least five pages. No, like 500 pages. Oh. Now I have a question for you. Would you buy that book? Yeah, man. I got a ton of 500 Okay, then. Books. Okay, and then, let me change it then. A 600-page book. Well, it depends. Okay. My, what my, the question I'm leading up to, how thick would a book be before you just say, no, I am not going to read that book? 900 pages or longer, for sure. So 850, you'd be cool? It depends on the story. Like, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, that's... I don't remember. But it's over 800, and that was fine. But it, it really just depends on mm -hmm. the book. No. If the story's just that great. But most of the time, it's not that great. Like, book seven of the Mortal Instruments, that's 730 pages long, I think. But they split it into two parts. So it's like do, two do, books. Do they one. need to be that long, though? No, I think sometimes the author's imagination runs too wild. Like, there's this author called Brandon Sanderson. Uh-huh. All of his books are, like, over a thousand pages. And people actually read it, and it's, like, high fantasy. That sounds like Stephen King. Yeah. Like, Stephen King isn't high fantasy. He just writes, like, a ton of books, just, like, normal books. Uh-huh. But, like, high fantasy, you'd really have to indulge yourself in that world, and you'd have to, like, pay attention, like, when you read. And I could not do that. Mm. You know, that kind of reminds me of J.R.R. Tolkien. Remember, like, The Lord of the Rings was originally just one book? One book, yeah. It's still considered just one book. But then, like, a kid reader read it, and he's like, you know what? This is ridiculous. You need to put this into three parts. He's like, yeah. J.R.R. Tolkien's like, no, I'm not going to do that. And the kid's like, you have to. I demand that you put this in a three-parter. And there you go. Yeah. That's, that's what happened. Were you reading Mark of Athena? No. Did well, you pick it up? Why? No. Someone picked up my Mark of Athena. And my wolf book. What are they doing? Oh my oh goodness. My gosh. It, I notice when my books are askew. He, he's so precise with his book organization. Look, look at it. It's like off. Someone's been looking at oh that. Oh my goodness, Colby. It's probably your sister. She came in Maybe. and just changed the books and be like, now he'll be so subconscious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ghost. Ah. That's what I'm going to have to do next time. I'm just going to have to rearrange your books. Oh, my gosh. I would cry. Or better yet, br take out some old books and put in some new books. No, I would actually cry. And take off the covers, the little slip covers, and put them on different books as well. So you're thinking you're reading a sci-fi book, but you're actually reading a book of baby names? <laughs> I, I, I'm just out of curiosity. Would you ever read War and Peace? Because that is Never. a real... Because that is a really thick book. I read what it was about once, then I saw the page count, and I was like, we are out of here. Oh, there's the example right there. What example? 
Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. See? I don't even remember what it was about because it was so boring. Like, I read the blurb. I was like, I think it's about the Civil War or something. Yeah, I think it's Civil War, too. And that and Moby Dick. I want to read Moby Dick. I just want to understand what the story is about because I hear it's really intense. There's a reason it's been around for, like, 150 years, whatever, how long it's been. I was yeah. reading Condenser's Notes. And even that was making my brain tired. Like the first ch whole chapter was him just describing the city. Second chapter was him meeting a friend. The third chapter was him and his friend talking. Wasn't In the Heart of the Sea based off of Moby Dick? Actually, I think it was reversed. I think that is the event that inspired Moby Dick. Oh, huh. Cause that I don't was... even know what Moby Dick is about. Okay, Captain Ahab, who has this rivalry with a huge evil sea monster, the great white whale. And he goes out searching to kill the whale. And the whale fights back. That's stupid. Imagine that, dude. It how actually sounds good. How intense that would be. Remember, like, into the actually, heart of the sea. Actually, you're right. It might actually be good. Like, And there's just that building hatred. It's like Batman and the Joker. You're building it up for, like, 40 chapters till they get on the boat. And then you're like, holy cow. Oh, did you read the whole book? No, I'm, I'm reading the Stubbs notes so I can get the idea. I tried to, but like I said, it takes like 17 pages of him just describing the city. Yeah, I know. And he uses all these really fancy words, and I just can't do it. Yeah. I mean, I would love to. Like, there were so many books I would just love to read and just say, hey, I read that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you see that really thick medical book up there? I read that and the one next to it. But no, I'm not a genius. I'm a simple man. Simple man who likes Dr. Seuss books. Dr. Seuss, yeah. Woo. Hey, the girl who plays Sarah Brown in Guys and Dolls, she actually has to touch my nose in If I Were a Bell. Because you know the song? Right. They're at, like, the Mexican, like, restaurant, and they're, like, dancers, and the fight breaks out. Oh, yes, I remember, remember? that. Yeah, well, we took the fight out because it's inappropriate. But she oh. sings the song, remember, when she's, like, in love, and they're, like, outside, and she's, like, drunk. Yeah. Oh, well, She's, we, we can take out the fight, but let's keep the drunk. Yeah, we kept yeah. that in for some reason, and I don't know why. Like, she's, like, full-on drunk. Kids play. And she's, like, stumbling around the stage, and she, like, falls into me, and I have to, like, push her back up while she's singing. It's I mean, great. how can you take but, that out, though? But she, like, touches my nose, like, during a song, and it's really awkward. And the director is like, you gotta make it cute, but, like, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> but it has to happen, Colby. <laughs> it's gonna be cute. Oh, uh, well, we'll try. <laughs> Oh. This seems like a good time for a word from our sponsor. Oh, hey, it's me, Tim. I'm just lying on this beach here getting me a killer tan. And you know what? It's hot. It's very hot. In fact, I feel rather parched. So I'm going to give me one of these bad boys. A nice cold glass of ginger peach iced tea. Delicious ginger peach iced tea. Available at trinityrosetea.com. Use the promo code ENTERTAINMENTGUY to get 10% off any order, including this bad boy. Anyway, enough from me. Back to the show. Take it away, other Tim. I love this drink. Okay, dude, I have a question. And, uh, okay, that was a sick yawn, man. You were talking about this to me in privately earlier, um, and I'm going to bring it up now. Is social media become a platform just to compare yourself with others? I did bring that up. It wasn't today, but it was right. a long time ago. And it definitely is. I'm not going to get into it again. I heart. actually deleted all my posts on Instagram the other day because I was like, okay. Because I was self-conscious. I was like, people probably don't like these, so I deleted them all. So I don't even what? have any posts on my Are Instagram you... right now. Kobe, I never really took you as a subconscious person. I always took you as a person like, yeah, this is me. Oh, yeah, I mean, self-conscious. Everyone's self-conscious. Yeah. yeah, I am too, but I never thought of you as a subconscious person. Oh, I still am. I remember you having me read over your Instagram description. Yeah. I and I was that. just like, dude, yeah, it's great. Like, dude, yeah, it's great. And then I deleted it like that an was hour later. You're deleting memories, Kobe. Yeah. You're why, right. why do you care? I don't know. I just do. Has anybody come up to you and said, hey, your Instagram photo made me want to cry because it was just so bad. I don't know, okay? <laughs> ah! I don't know. Because everyone sees it. Like, that's wild. 
but that's because they like you. Oh, there we go. He fainted. Wake up, Kobe. Is it Coronation Day? It is Coronation Day. Coronation Day. Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yee. Yeah. I feel that way, too. I haven't posted anything on Instagram in probably six months. I was just on your Instagram, like, earlier today. Were you? Yeah. I was like, let's see what this guy's up to. And nothing was there. And I was like, all right. That's cool. I'll post stuff eventually. All right. You got to post our popcorn vendors picture. I will. Oh, I will. Yeah, I'll do it for our 20th episode. Yeah. That's why he was lying on popcorn. Ooh, stay tuned for that. Ooh. But yeah, man, it can go even deeper. We're not even in relationships yet. There's the couple. How do you know? You're right. You got me. I'm married. Oh, uh, yeah. With three kids. You got me. Wait, what was the girl we keep talking about? Was it Samantha? Wait a minute. Where it was like I, a joke. Samantha. Like, I'm married to her. Saman no, no, no. I think it was Samantha. Are you kidding me? Because I used that for another thing. I said I had a crush on. <gasps> that means I have a crush on, on your wife. wife. Oh my goodness. That'd be so funny. Actually, though. But yeah, man, there's a lot of girls and guys too post a lot of couple selfies. Hey, look at this smoking hot babe. I just got. <laughs> yeah. Don't you wish that you were in a relationship like me? Well, too bad, because you're not going to anytime soon. Because you're soon. ugly. You're your daddy's son. What? Wow. Hey, speaking of your ugly, Ouch. which makes me think of that rap song. Uh, hmm. I was at this thing called Bonfire Worship, and it's with Valley Creek Hub. You know, hey, yeah, I know that. You yeah. know I don't go to Hub, and I didn't know it was by Hub. Why is it called I just, Hub? I just heard about it. I don't know. Hubba Hubba. I, I heard about it like on social media and stuff. Social media, ah! Hey! The center of everything. Mm. And it was called Bonfire Worship, and it was outside, and all really? these teenagers came. And like I said, it was a Hub thing. So they were all kids from Hub. But I didn't know it was Hub. I just came because I thought it was a thing. I didn't even oh, know it was with a church. I see where this is going. And a bunch of girls came up to you. Actually, asking... no one came up to me. So well, there, there you go. But well, okay. I, I met some people. There's teenagers for I you. met some people who we have some mutual friends with. So that was fun. I just oh. hung out with them. And then after the worship and message, we went down to the dock because it's on Grapevine Lake. It's just mm -hmm. right there. And we went down to the water. And everyone jumped in, and I didn't know it was a thing. Like, I was talking to some people. They're like, oh, yeah, we do this every bonfire worship. Like, we just jump in the pool. Like, they were all wearing bathing suits. And I was wearing, like, a nice outfit because I wanted to be Aww. impressionable. And they were all just, like, they didn't care. I was like, great. So well, now you I know. actually got in the water, like, in my clothes because I would have been, like, the only one not doing it. And someone was playing was... rap music just on a speaker or something. Hamilton. And it was clean. It was clean music. Uh -huh. Although there was this one song where they just started like f bombing, I was like, "Oh my, am I at a church event <laughs> or no? Because what's going on?" And then someone just walks up to the person playing the music. They're like, "Oh, you should probably turn that off. You know, whatever. It's chill." I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> what?" <laughs> uh That's what I don't like. A lot of churches are becoming way more chill with cussing because that's a lot of where a lot of people pick up cussing words now. It's like, "Well, where'd you learn these words, son?" Uh, youth group. <laughs> Honestly. Hey, guess what? I just found out about Uber Eats. Well, not really, but I've just started using it. Not on my own. But <laughs> I, I, guys and dolls, doll cast uses Uber Eats. I was like, oh, what's okay. Uber Eats? Because we have an hour for lunch break. Do they just bring you food? Yeah, they just bring you food and you like tip them. Like, that's it. And I was like, what? So, so you can get delivery food for anything now. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to use Uber Eats in the future. How much does that cost, though? For I don't know. Like, I don't even know how much you tip them. 15%. But wait, wait, wait a minute. What if they have to go to a fancy restaurant and they have to tip their waiter? I think they so have, you have little signs that says they're from Uber Eats. Like, I think that's a thing. I know IHOP has it. Or IHOP, the International House of Burgers. Burgers! Is that actually a thing? I saw that, like, trending. Yeah, it used to be a thing, but everyone got all ticked off. They're like, oh, no. So it's back to IHOP. It's stupid, I know. Why did they change it to International House of Burgers? Because they wanted everyone to know that it's not just a house of pancakes, they have burgers too. I think it's because they weren't selling their burgers, honestly. I think it's because everyone goes there for pancakes, and no one goes for their burgers. They're like, we have burgers, come hmm. buy them. So they did, they the actually did they actually change the signs of so certain stores? Some of them did. 
It wasn't a nationwide thing, but I think some of them did. I didn't look into it, but I think at least a couple of them actually changed the IHOP. And then it went viral. They're all like, what is this? No. I saw some vines about that. Some vines? Some Vine, vine. is dead, ladies. They should well, be making some a Vine of them... 2.0, but I don't know when. Wasn't Vine really popular? It was. Then why did they get rid of it? I have no idea. I think Vine owns another company, like Instagram or something. Wait, I don't think it's Instagram, but they own another like big app company. Mm-hmm. And they're all like, oh, they can share their videos on this app. They don't need Vine anymore. So they got rid of Vine. That seems a little silly. I know. No, there's no more Thomas Sanders. Also, speaking of my short attention span, six seconds long, I have lost interest in like half the movies and TV shows I watch anymore. I'll like get like half an hour in and I'm like, okay, we're done. I'm tired of this. But, yeah. And I actually have a long attention span. As you can see, all my super long books. But yeah, like when it comes right. to TV shows, I'm just like, all right, I've seen it all. We're done. This well, is maybe that's a good thing. I am thing. done with TV forever. Even, yeah, like I've stopped watching TV. Even the Dick Van Dyke show? Yeah, I've just stopped watching TV. Well, that, that is a good thing. Yeah. We were talking about earlier just going into random people's houses and destroying their television sets. <laughs> this is the purge, but instead of killing Let's people, make that you a... kill your TVs. Surprise. I think we need to make that a hashtag. Hashtag destroy all TVs. Please. 1984, where are you? <laughs> But wait a minute. That actually brings up. Wait a minute. I, that actually brings an interesting topic. How would the world be different if television didn't exist? Wouldn't need glasses. A lot of people back in the olden days had glasses before television. So, a lot of less people would need glasses. Okay, sure. Yeah, Let's TV set like a fake example. Like if you watch, and now it, if you it, watch it, any romance, they'll like kiss like on the first date. Like people don't do that in real life. But well, now they, they do. Yeah, because, because they see it on TV. Exactly. They made it say, "Hey, this is normal. Like, this is normal, so it's all right." The Real. same thing with cussing. They would add all these cuss words in it, and now they're just saying, "Hey, this is how people actually talk." I know. What a world. I mean, it's just a flip flop. So a lot of people would cuss less, and I think people would have actually have their own opinions. There's a lot of political propaganda in movies now. That's like all there is. Honestly, I would love it if they just took a break from movies. What if? The whole world went five months with no movies coming out. Five months with no movies coming out and just no TV playing. Unless it's like sports because that's at least interactive. Yeah, like that's sports life. or news or something. You know, you don't want to be dangerous. Like there's a hurricane coming. Oh, well, I, I don't have a radio. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait, I'm going to change the topic because I have a question. I've been thinking oh. about this, this whole time. It's just been Oh, okay. In my head. I'm sorry. I really enjoyed that. That's why. I, but go sorry. ahead. Do you use face wash? Why do you ask? Do I look like I don't? No, you look like you do. And that's the thing. Oh. What are you doing? Like, are you using face wash? Or are I you don't, washing your face with soap? I honestly haven't been washing my face you at all. You haven't been washing your face. Okay. Well, it looks good. I guess it's because you're getting older. I don't know. <gasps> it's a ghost now. Ooh. I really hate all this late thing. People make fun of this like every day. Which I, is like even I have made fun of that. Yeah. I apologize. Like it's been fine for a while, but everyone talks about it like we're talking about his leg hair. I'm sorry. Yeah, like what we, am I we've come to this. To, what am I supposed to do? Like, uh You know what you could do? What? You can put on jeans in one hundred degree weather and just stick it out and be like, Hey yeah. Yeah. Remember when you This is ma- real. This is me. This is exactly who I want to be. <laughs> oh, that was that rhymed. Is that the song? It's from Camp Rock. Oh, that's right. They had a that's song insane. called This Is Me as well. Yeah. Which I thought was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, greatest showman stole it from Camp Rock. Hey, you wanna hear something fun? I actually do. The what? director for Guys and Dolls. Mm-hmm. I'm not harking on him. I'm not talking bad about him because this is just what he does. Like I'm not uh, talking bad because it's just true. His way of directing is he doesn't tell us what to do. He goes on stage and he does it himself to show us what he wants us to do. Well, that's interesting. But it's not just that. Like, that's fine if you think about it that way. Like, whatever. But he he puts so much physicality into his shows. I don't know why. Like, he'll have someone touch someone or whatever. Is I'm not actually uncomfortable, but it's just weird. If you think about it, if he's just trying to get across, like, you have to use... A lot of physical movements. I remember a lot of seeing a lot of physical movements in the movie. It was set in the 1940s. There was just a lot of back slapping. It was like, eh, bro, back then. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. 
<laughs> your eyes are watery. You're so tired. No, 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 no. I'm not I'm... tired. That happens every time I yawn. Like every time I yawn, <laughs> real tears will come out of my eyes. And everyone's like, Colby, why are you crying? Like, I'm not. I'm yawning. It happens. Goodbye, you... folks. I mean, yeah. We'll come we... back to Mickey Mouse's clubhouse next week and we'll talk about Goofy and Pluto. Is it a dog wait, or wait, a planet? Wait, I don't know. Wait a minute. Do we have any last words of wisdom? Any food chains we recommend? Okay. Um, any podcasts we recommend? Actually, can I recommend a podcast? If I can recommend a food chain, then yes. Okay. You recommend your food chain. Go to first. In-N-Out. It's really good. Oh, it actually is. All right. That's all. Holy cow. And hey, hey, hey. Check at the bottom of your cup. John 316, baby. Anyways, if what? we're recommending podcasts, go listen to Bro Ken podcast. It's PewDiePie. Oh no 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 no! I'm just kidding. No, I don't recommend that <laughs> one. What you know no, what no, I I'm do? Just rec- kidding, I'm just kidding. I recommend the inner tube. You know what? I'll probably link it in the description. And with that, this, this has, has been, been Popcorn, Popcorn Vendors. Vendors. If you, you already know, we had to do it to them. What? It really be that way sometimes. If you'd like to contact us, you can do so by emailing us at the Popcorn Vendors Podcast at gmail.com. And Colby McGar at gmail.com. That's M C G A R R H. Hit me up to chat. Let's go. Oh, wow. Until next time, I'm Colby. And I'm Tim. Goodbye. Well, we only got one episode left, so see you tomorrow for the episode 18. We're at the marathon blend.